Welcome back, guys. I'm still Stephanie Hunter from Hamilton, New Zealand, and this is our beautiful Karen Crichton from Pai here. We haven't changed. So. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our Frequently Asked Questions Q&A session and playlist. So the next question I've got for you, Karen, is for someone who has purchased the system and she wishes to use it as a practitioner, mm. which is very, very exciting and just very, we're very blessed to have as part of our team. She's come back with a really good question. She is purchasing additional libraries and she wants to know um, how do you add them to clients and when do you add them to clients and, and why do you add them, have to add them? Individually? Okay, yes, I, I hear you. Right, so we're going to, I'm going to share the screen with you straight away because this is, um, this is such an exciting, an exciting part of the, of the whole system, I believe, because we can really fine tune it. So, okay, as you can see, I've got the system overview page. Over here is the three little lines. You just click on there. And as you see, you've got a drop down menu. So libraries. When this opens for you, if you've got no, not none of your own libraries, this will be a blank page. Now, when you purchase the library and you can go to the website and have a look and see what we've got, we're adding more all the time. And so when you actually purchase a library, or more. If you purchase one library, you'll get one code. If you purchase two or more libraries, you will get a code for each of the libraries or a bulk code so you can add them all in at the same time. Mm -hmm. And all you do is you click on import libraries just there and you will get a, a code and you just do in there. Now, if you've got a single library, you click OK. And of course, if you've got a bulk library, you hit bulk. And that will import it into this one. So it will go into shared libraries. So these are the ones I personally have been have got from other people. And so if you you can create your own libraries, but that's more advanced stuff. So I would sure. encourage I would sort of look at maybe getting other libraries to start with, and then you can really start learning more, diving deeper and deeper and deeper. And so when you've loaded them, what will happen is it'll, you'll have a library, um, a library thing there, and you click on there, and you have to analyze the libraries separately. So you do your analysis first off, and then you do begin analysis. Now this takes a little while on mine because I've got lots, but with if you only have a couple, it'll only take a few minutes, a couple of minutes. And so what this is doing is adding the information that's in those libraries to the rest of the genius to fight to start prioritizing that as well. For that particular client. For that particular client. Now what you do is when you update your um your system so when you log out put your um email address and your um your um oh, password password that's the one sorry my brain just went <laughs> it was ahead of itself then what you do is you go out again and you go back up into this little thing and because i updated mine a little while ago it won't do it but a pop-up sign will say, do you want to allocate this, your libraries to all clients? And you just hit yes. Correct. If you don't, of course you don't have to. So you can pick and choose which libraries you want to, to share with other people. So for example, then you hit add to client and then you can add which, so you can really fine tune this for the way you work. So just got a question for you, Karen, because it's, it's a formula in my head. You working on an Apple, and yeah. I work on a, a Android, slightly yeah. different systems. Mm. When you send me a new library to add to my libraries, mm. do I need to, I go in and I add the library because I've, I've uploaded it using that key code you're talking about from the email, I yeah. go into the, my library on a, a particular client, usually me because I'm treating myself every day. Uh, I go in and I add to the, the library to the... Um, to the new library to the library bank. Do I need to do that now that's in my libraries? Do I need to do that for each individual client or will it automatically update? So when that when I'm treating a client and I go into the library 
their, their library um, click on point, mm. are all the new libraries automatically added to their libraries? If you choose to do so. So for example, when you update, when you yeah. updated, you can choose whether you want them all or some. Okay, cool. So as an example, if um, I, this particular client, I wanted to just add, say, um, quantum essences, and I can just click on that and add. Sure. But I'm not going to, so because um, that because I, I add everyone into my system. I add them all to sure. when I it makes life simpler. But the thing about the libraries is the benefits of that again is that you can fine tune how you want to how you want to use the genius, and that's what's so effective. That's why it's so exciting, really, because you can beautiful. Have as little or as much as you like. Excellent. I think that answers the question beautifully. Thank Good. you very much. Excellent. It's a pleasure. So guys, once again, please keep rolling your questions in. We, I learn, as you just learned there, that I learned something just then. Karen works on a different system to I. So sometimes we find that the Android has a different um, iOS and information to the Apple. So we will get crossover information as well. And it's good that we have each of us working on different systems because mm. we cover all of our clients, which is fantastic. Any more questions, please send them in because I learn as you learn. And the more we learn, the deeper we go, the more we make of our, make more we connect to our genius, the more use we make of our genius. It is an incredible, incredible system. And we're still learning about it. I'm still learning about it. Karen knows it inside and out. Oh, <laughs> no, no, I'm still learning too because I find little buttons and go, oh, what's this? You know, it's great. That's what I love about it. It's, it's a gift that keeps on giving. It <laughs> does. And I love it. I love it. Wonderful. Thank you, guys. We'll awesome. see you on the next question. Take Bye. care. Bye-bye.